Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a picture showing uh, swanag, uh, swanag deformity of uh, uh, middle finger, ring finger, and mallet deformity of the li uh, little finger uh, of right hand. Uh, you say all three more. fingers. All three, all three fingers. Uh, but um, little finger uh, show only start um, uh, started showing only mallet deformity of the little finger. Um, little finger. You have only one picture, no? Uh, only one picture, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, right, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, uh, this most uh, we have to. Uh, <coughs> uh, about uh, about uh, the tree uh, treatment modules, uh, we have to first of all uh, uh, work up the patient for uh, rheumatic diseases and uh, uh, he. Um, most of the time, it's, it will be a rheumatoid arthritis causing uh, uh, neck deformities in multiple fingers. And, Can you go back? And, uh, go back, go back. Hello, sir. Can you go back? Ah, yes, sir. I think uh, Sandeep uh, Lakshmi also can come in. I thought it, this was only a middle finger problem. Okay. Yeah, middle actually. Finger, ring finger and... Uh, no, actually, we were also uh, wanting you to discuss the middle finger. Middle finger only. Yes, sir. Only, only middle finger. Oh, okay, sir. Because you are, if you think about the rheumatoid multiple fingers, very rarely you can have ulnar three fingers and index totally normal. Yes, sir. Okay. So many people have uh, something like a intrinsic plus fingers. They extend. Okay. They forcefully extend. Many yes, people sir. will have this kind of um, mild uh, oh, extreme okay. uh, uh, swan neck like, but uh, okay. we'll stick on only to the middle finger. Okay, sir. Is that okay, Sandeep? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, middle okay, finger alone. Uh, then, uh, then uh, swan, uh, swan neck deformity of uh, uh, middle finger. Uh, first of all, we have to uh, Identify whether he is having any uh, intrinsic uh, tightness uh, so that we can proceed with our uh, uh, procedures. Uh, uh, for that, we do a Banal's little a littler test uh, uh, to identify the intrinsic uh, tightness, like uh, oh, to Brian class. Uh, yes, sir. Middle finger alone. Yes, sir. You have a sign like deformity. Yes, sir. What is the cost for this? It could be uh, traumatic also. Traumatic means what? Uh, what structure is gone? Uh, traumatic means uh, is uh, uh, his uh, D, uh, uh, X EDC terminal tendon might uh, might be ruptured, causing a uh, hyperextension of PIV joint also, or uh, just say it again. Uh, a terminal tendon, or ter a terminal uh, insertion of a EDC tendon. Where? Uh, rupture. Uh, rupture. No, EDC tendon insertion where? Distal phalanx. Mallet. A mallet injury. Uh, it can co it can cause a, a hyperextension of the PIP joint. So this is a mallet finger or a. Mallet finger going into swan neck deformity or primarily a swan neck deformity. You understand my question? Ah, yes, sir. Is it a mallet deformity going in for swan neck or primarily a swan neck problem? Uh, primarily FDS. Single finger, single, single swan finger. Neck without mallet. Swan neck. When do they get? Out. Brian. Okay. F FDS tendon injury. Uh, FDS com complete. Oh. Uh, FDS. FDS. FDS tendon injury can cause uh, uh, this swan neck deformity. FDS. Isolated FDS. Yes, How can isolated FDS. 
how can it get injured at that level polar plate injury can get polar uh, uh, yes uh, like uh, so you have prepared for swanek not prepared for mallet swanek ah uh, in mallet am i correct uh, yes sir yeah. so uh, i don't sir. yeah i understand understand but this is essentially yes, a problem of i think it's a mallet deformity neglected mm. mallet going on for swan neck deformity so you try to correct the swan neck swan neck uh, mallet you try to correct the mallet automatically the swan neck should get corrected swan neck too mm, yes sir okay yes so sir I, suppose this patient comes to you looks like after 3 months 6 months yes sir Only prolonged uh, mallet deformity only can produce this kind of deformity. Ah, oh, yes, sir. So if it comes to you a little later, what will be your plan, lad? Like? Uh, actually, uh, actually the plan will be to uh, uh, first our aim will be to uh, 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 prevent more hyper hyper, uh, hyper extension of PIP joint uh, and. Uh, How will uh, you do? uh it can be done by uh, doing a uh, uh, uh retinacular ligament reconstruction by uh, uh, uh S sorl uh, reconstruction sir mm. uh, so, uh superior oblique retinacular ligament uh, uh, retinacular ligament reconstruction can be done for this kind of cases uh, by uh, taking a uh, ulnar uh, uh by taking the ulnar lateral band and uh, passing through the uh, passing underneath the clanar uh, ligament uh, uh clanar ligament and uh, that will prevent the hyperextension of the pap where, joint where will be uh, the distal attachment hello where will be the distal attachment this attachment uh, will be on to the uh, opposite side uh, yeah picture of that opposite side uh, uh, so here basically i think you will have to correct the mallet deformity meanwhile huh. You will have to mobilize the PAP. Uh, there will uh, be a severe stiffness. There will uh, be yes, a complete flex the PAP joint. PAP joint. First, get the joint soft and supple, and then try to reconstruct the mallet, Re mallet correction. Mallet, mallet, mallet correction. Mallet By joint. using, uh, uh, we can do a DIP joint uh, fusion only for this kind of case because it's a long-standing. Uh, Hello. Suppose they have come to you on day one. A mallet deformity. Uh, oh, mallet deformity. Ah yes, sir. You, what will you do? Closed mallet. Well, uh, uh, a closed mallet. Uh, first of all, we have to. Uh, 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 we have to examine the radiographic, like X-ray, uh, so that we have to see whether it's a no, mallet. No fracture. Uh, no, fracture. Eh? no fracture. No fracture. Okay. Yes, sir. Then uh, uh, we have to do uh, on day one itself. If we are doing a, uh, we have to do. Uh, we have to explore the wound. Explore the uh, close, tendon. Close. Close. Hello. Close fracture. No open injury. No open injury. Hmm. Uh, then uh, ac uh, we can uh, 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 pass an axial K wire and uh, straight away. What are the options available? Patient is not willing for surgery. Can do. A, we can give a mallet splint. Uh, what kind of mallet splint do you give, sir? What kind of mallet splint you give?
have you given a mallet splint oh yes sir uh, so by uh, which will prevent uh, the flexion of the dip joint so you will give it on the dorsum or volar side volar volar side we will put a volar uh, volar mallet splint can you give it on the dorsum Uh, okay you want to give a splint then what do you what will you advise you are given a splint yes sir in joint uh, in hyper extension uh, you yes, have a splint with the dip uh, given hyper extension yes sir hyper extension you are given that yes, so sir. what will you advise sir what will you advise is it a removable splint or it's a permanent uh, it's a it's a, it's a removable a removable splint sir so what will you advise pre made a uh, splint so what will you advise Full, how will uh, you take care of uh, sir you take care of the splint and how will you take care of the finger uh, splint should be there for a uh, for in full extension for 6 uh, to 8 weeks at least so, you will you will remove it or you leave it permanently like that um uh, it will be splinted for a uh, uh, completely uh, it will be uh, we won't remove it so completely 6 weeks it will be ah uh, 6 6 weeks 6 to 8 weeks yeah. we will be keeping the splint it will be taped like that ah yes sir is it uh, do you think it uh, will be possible after sir do you think it will be possible oh no, you have to decide about whether you are uh, giving a remove removable we, splint or a will be something like a splint which he, he cannot remove it ah uh, yes sir you if you he cannot remove it you can leave it for about 4 to 6 weeks 4 to 6 weeks sir 6 weeks oh. Oh, for which one? Six weeks. Six weeks. Uh, if you are giving a removable splint, you have to give him some advice how to he can remove it, clean his hand, and reapply the splint. What advice you will give? What splint do you give normally? Oh. Where? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. um uh so uh for four weeks we will give a volar extension splint uh, uh, uh means like volar uh, volar place extension splint uh four weeks volar uh, volar extension splint sir oh, what is that extension splint What do you mean by extension? Extension. Uh, you give a wall last splint in DAP uh, joint extension. DAP joint extension, sir. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So you prefabricate or you have ready-made splint? Prefabricate it. With what? Uh, POP. POP. So you yes. give up your volar POP, POP. volar volar extension splint for the finger alone. No, sir. The whole whole ha- oh, whole hand. Whole hand. Sorry. Suppose you want to give a. I think you are not. Do uh, you read green? What book you read for hand? Yes, sir. what books you read for hand i can i can hear you sir no so what are the books you read for hand green the greens and uh... green. go on go on check today hello all for splints for mallet finger hello brian hi yeah yeah 
Ah, yes, sir. Yeah, sir. Telling you to just actually check out all these things in greens. Okay. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And we'll move on to the next. Uh...